Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, often with beach, travel, or Hugo themes. I also do a little bit of stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, home decor, and even the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. That way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, announce giveaways, or go live. And as always, if you are already subscribed, thank you so, so much for being here and spending part of your day with me. I really appreciate all of your continued support over the past two years, especially those of you who watch almost every single day. I'm really looking forward to continuing to grow this community with you in the coming years as well. Today I have one of my favorite quarterly lifestyle subscriptions to share with you. I know it might seem like I say that a lot, but really truly this is one of my favorites and that is Hugo in a Box. This comes out of Canada. I of course love the Danish concept of coziness, which is Hygge. I also just love the aesthetic of this box. I love their mission. I love their values. I love that it is run by two lovely sisters. And now I'm happy to tell you that they actually have two different sizes. So they have this box, which has been sent to me for review, which is the full size box, which is usually going to have seven to nine products by Canadian makers. It is $114.99 Canadian, which right now comes out to a little over $90 US. And then obviously they do ship two the US for about 28 Canadian which right now is a little over 20 so you're looking at about hundred and ten hundred and twelve dollars US per quarter but now they also have their smaller size which is gonna have four to six products each quarter and that is just $74.99 so good options you guys and if you are going to subscribe you can use the code Noel 10 and that will save you 10% on that first box and there is a little perk though of being a subscriber even though you can get one-time boxes and there's usually an extra gift in there so definitely a good reason to subscribe they also in addition to their quarterly boxes often do like a limited edition box I'd say once a quarter so it almost winds up being a bi-monthly box but those are just one-offs that you can buy I always love those I think they do a great job they're often themed I already have myself signed up for the holiday box because I loved it so much last year and I just again I really really think what they do with this box with this company is truly beautiful so let's go ahead and get into this one and see what it is this I believe is the fall box and again I believe it is the full size so opening it up I just love the tissue paper everything you guys is so gorgeous so it just has their branded tissue paper which has kind of a modern contemporary design of a pine cone on it and they do usually include a pine cone that they have found kind of foraging there in Canada which I think is super awesome so I've slowly collected my pine cones so I have a nice little collection and then this is the sad part where I have to tear the beautiful tissue paper I um I think their tissue paper is just so pretty especially with that like contrast of the pink and the green all right you guys so now that I have uh, torn that tissue paper you can kind of see what we've got and they have gone back to one of their like chunkier shreds which I actually really love because you guys know I'm constantly packing up boxes for my family and friends and for all of you through giveaways so I just love this kind of chunky shred I just think it in itself is Hugo so very very nice and they always use really um, eco-friendly sustainable um, packing products so let's see what it says this is what the little product card looks like there's usually just a message from the gals and then on the back it tells us all about the products so it says hello Hugo friends welcome to your fall 2021 Hugo in a box it's Eftrashuge, I have no idea how to pronounce Danish words. For many, fall is the start of the most Hygelig season. Since the days are cooler and darker, it is important to have something to look forward to. This is why Hygge is so popular during this time of year. We all need as much TLC as possible, so we hope this box will give you plenty of Hygge moments. Make yourself a hot latte, light some candles, take time to savor the unboxing experience, which, yes, I love doing these videos for you guys, but I do sometimes wish that I could take my time and go really slowly, maybe over a couple days little treats along the way so just a little idea if you want to give make your unboxing kind of a self-care moment and then they gave us some suggestions for ways to uh, experience or practice you get for uh, for the season so it says collect some cozy books and snuggle under blankets have a lazy breakfast in bed and stay cozy for as long as you can treat yourself to a new pair of slippers or a robe and they actually have like 10 or a dozen suggestions right here um, it does talk about the pine cones we love them as a simple way to bring the outdoors in which is an integral part of creating a Hugo home so yes you want to have a, that incorporate that element of nature the one in this box was found around the outskirts of Winnipeg or our, our 
summer cabin in Lake of the Woods, Ontario. So awesome, you guys. So definitely check it out. And uh, like I said, the packing materials are eco-friendly. I'm looking on the back. I'm trying to see how many items we have. It looks like we have maybe eight items this time, maybe nine, because there is that exclusive item for quarterly subscribers. And this is kind of new. I don't remember seeing this before. They did do the total retail value on this and it is 177 Canadian, which is pretty good because that's like $50 more than what you pay for the box. So you're doing pretty good there. Uh, maybe a, a little bit more. So I am seeing some sort of like paperwork here, which is what I always call it. It's probably some just inserts from some of the companies that are represented. And then they have always included a nice recipe, which I think is a lovely touch. So this is for mom's butternut squash soup, which just sounds delicious. I have never actually made my own. I know it's not that hard once you roast the butternut squash, um, but there's so many like great recipes out there. So I'm very intrigued by this. I need a bigger pot because I don't have very much room in my kitchen, but I need a nice big pot so I can kind of make it worth my while. They also included this little business card sized uh, note that has some exclusive maker promo codes. So I think that is another nice thing. And of course, again, these all are all Canadian businesses. So let's get into the good stuff and see if I can hunt everything out on the product card. Um, the first one, which of course caught my eye because it is an edible treat, you should not be surprised. It's so cute. It came in like this little takeout container and it is some toffee bark that sounds delicious. My mouth is already watering over this. So this is from Rock Coast Confections out of Victoria. So it says Rock Coast specializes in creating mouthwatering chocolatey confections. This artisan made English style toffee with almonds is coated in ethically sourced 54% dark chocolate and their in-house smoked salt gluten-free and nothing artificial seriously delicious I am so excited I'm not gonna open it on camera you guys until I take some photos for over on Instagram just because I know that I will demolish it and it looks so cute in that little package but I will definitely open it up that will give me the excuse to uh, nibble on it a little bit later on all right what else have we got so this had some tassels um, you guys it almost looked like a little spider to me these like tassels um, freaked me out a little bit Bit. So this is patent pending nighthood sleep better not off quickly adjustable fits all noggins an elegant sleep mask But it's like looks like a hat. So this is kind of cool So it says finally a sleep mask that works the nighthood is a new kind of sleep mask It's essential properties lay in our super soft locally knit bamboo fabric with the opacity and stretch to create a cozy dark space for sleeping The nighthood is worn to completely cover the head including the eyes and ears It's gentle touch inducing you to relax and nod off the bamboo fabric by its nature is temperature regulating, allowing it to feel cool when in hot and warm, when in hot and warm, when in cold. It is breathable, durable, washable, and cool. So I guess this is what it looks like, you guys. It's like a sleep cap, but then it goes over your eyes. So that's kind of cool. Instead of kind of fitting around your head like so many other sleep masks, this might actually work for me. And I love that it's bamboo because I love having bamboo pillowcase. So it's just kind of an extension of that. So let me see. This is from Knighthood. They're out of Toronto. It says new kind of sleep mask. It's just kind of repeating everything that I, that I read to you. It says it's worn to cover the head covering the eyes and the ears softly implying a gentle embrace inducing you to relax and not off so right it gives that sense of pressure which can be very very relaxing kind of working with your parasympathetic parasympathetic nervous system. So it says uh, it's uh, temperature regulating and it says we love ours and we can't sleep without it. I love that it's washable also. So I might get addicted to this and need like 10 of them so that I can have one always in the wash. And it's just in a very soft black, which I also like. It's not like pink or like super girly, uh, something that you might even be able to like take on a, on a plane trip. Um, it is super soft, you guys. It feels like super duper soft leggings or even like nylons is what it feels like. So I'm definitely have to try that on. I'm not going to try it out on camera because of course it goes over your eyes. So then I wouldn't even be able to see you guys, but I will let you know what I think about it because this intrigues me. All right. We have something from do good paper company. Um, I think there's a couple items in here from them. So let me see if I can go ahead and find the other items so I can read about both at the same time. So do good paper company is out of Markham, Ontario. Uh, so we got, it says do good paper company is an ethical Canadian independent stationery company that sells beautifully designed paper products. As a mom of three young kids, the maker sets out to create products that are practical yet beautiful at the same time. I wish that was sort of the uh, mission of every company, right? So it looks like we got a pen set as well as a spiral notepad for lists. 
which you guys I'm excited it's spiral it's not a journal and it is for lists which I'm you guys know I'm not a journaler but I am definitely a list maker so we got this nice uh, set of four eco pens so this is the little box that it came in I didn't see all four but we'll, we'll pull them out I don't know if they are all the same uh, color ink it says made of wheat straw a bioplastic that makes use of what would have become waste once the wheat is harvested there's a lot of things that are being made out of that now it says these needle tip rollerball pens write very smoothly so I'm guessing they're just like regular black or blue ink um, but this is what they look like they're kind of speckled very very pretty I'm assuming it's not those colors because obviously that like light color is super duper light um, I don't usually use this kind of um, rollerball pen you guys know me I like my gel pens I like a little inkiness but these are lovely I think that's really really cool and then of course it is paired with a lists spiral notepad so it says list makers this one is for you this gorgeous fall colored minimalist linen notepad features 300 pages of pre-designed list pages with check boxes it's time to start making your lists and tech checking them twice hooray so it does just have this like uh engraved lists in gold which you know i love i love the spiral bound i love the linen finish nice like nice uh solid uh cover that's not gonna get messed up and then yes it does say list there and it does have the little check boxes I actually love to cross things out but then you can kind of have a system where some things are like you can maybe got started and you can check it off and then when it's really really done then you can actually like cross it off and then of course when it's really done you can just rip it out of your notebook and uh, be done with it I love this it's just the right size where your hand can actually sit on it sometimes you get those like really narrow ones or really short ones where like it's a little bit awkward um, when you start off and it's super high like that but this this is gonna be like a desk staple for me so I am I'm really excited about that um, I might uh, use it with my gel pens though and it's fun to like decorate them and doodle on them as well so but I love a nice lined list pad so very excited about that item I get so excited about paper goods sometimes you guys um, this is from bloom let me just dust it off what is this says pumpkin spice blend uh, melange a la citrouille um, so this is a caffeine free I'm guessing maybe it's a tea it says say hello to fall's best friend organic pumpkin and maple combined in a warming cup of velvety goodness put your feet up get comfortable and stay for a while it says add to milk smoothies oatmeal or really anything so I'm guessing it's like flavoring I don't know if it's tea it says to make one teaspoon of bloom with a splash of boiling water add one cup of hot or cold milk of your choice sweet with maple syrup or sugar so it is like a pumpkin spice latte or tea mix so let's see what it says about this it says bloom creates organic plant-based functional blends for your cup mug smoothie oatmeal bowl and life say hello to fall's best friend finally a pumpkin spice blend with actual pumpkin amen to that you guys it's always like pumpkin spice and i'm like no it's just spice and sugar um it says organic pumpkin and maple combined in a warming cup of velvety goodness put your feet up get comfortable stay a while tastes like grandma's pumpkin pie and works perfectly with a shot of espresso proudly vegan caffeine free refined sugar free and organic so I'm fine with it being caffeine free because I will probably like they suggested add it to something that already has caffeine in it so kind of cool sounds like you can probably use it for a lot of different things I love that idea of putting it in oatmeal I used to eat oatmeal like a lot more and then I feel like it got like too fancy and too hipster and I didn't like make the fancy overnight oats and stuff so I, I like a good like instant quick oatmeal with some like you know brown sugar on it and maybe some of that mix all right let's see what else we have got let me wipe this off because the shred does get things a little bit dusty this looks to be a it says native handmade organics by sequoia which i always think is so cool because it's got all the vowels in it. it says it's a sweet grass body scrub with organic olive oil so this is such a pretty label you guys oh so this is the exclusive item for quarterly box subscribers so it says sweet grass is a lot harder to find nowadays as it grows and thrives in a wild environment sequoia captured this wilderness and now gives everyone the opportunity to experience it with the sweet grass body scrub gentle enough for everyday use this body scrub will give you a healthy glow by encouraging cell renewal I'm all about that so that's kind of nice I don't use a lot of body scrubs but this one kind of intrigues me so I'm really happy with that item all right let's see what else we have gotten here I'm kind of like keeping an eye out for my pine cone too sometimes it's kind of nestled in the corner and I don't find it until I'm all done all right something else from Sequoia so that was good timing beautiful labels they have this is says it is a proudly indigenous blackberry sage hand and body lotion in this nice little pump bottle so again look at that really pretty label it's kind of got some 
some like metallics on it. Love that. So they are from Kanawake. I don't know, Quebec. Uh, so it says Sequoia is a 100% owned and operated, is 100% owned and operated by indigenous women. Love that. Founded in 2002 by Michaeli Lazore, who is Kanyan Kehaka or Mohawk from Aquasan. Aquasasne and Northern Paiute from Nevada. Forgive me for the pronunciation, you guys. I should learn like indigenous pronunciation a little bit better. The design, production, and packaging of the products is done in the working studio locally. Love that. None of the manufacturing is outsourced. In order to keep the next seven generations in mind, the production is sustainable and ingredients are ethically sourced. So the lotion, again, is blackberry sage. Two ingredients that are widely used in herbal medicines. This blackberry sage lotion combines the sweet and tart scent of blackberries and herbal tones of sage that sounds amazing you guys that sounds like two cents that i want together this lotion will keep your skin thoroughly moisturized and smooth and i love that it isn't a little like pump bottle very like easy to tuck into your purse but also easy to travel with so very very excited about that Oh, this is so cute, you guys. This is a good sign. It's like a little tiny test tube with a cork um, with matches, and there's even a little striker on the side. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. So there's like two uh, that are in regular like light color wood and two that are in black. That is the cutest little like match bottle I've ever seen. Um, but I'm assuming that it goes with a candle, which you guys know is like a quintessential part of not just fall boxes in my mind, but uh, Hugo boxes, because I do think that element of light adds to the sense of ambiance and coziness this is very cool it's like a goblet let me just dust it off a bit huh this is neat it is indeed a candle it's like a it's a just drinking candle so this is what this looks like and you can see there are some like fun organics there in the top this is going to be very hard to take photos of without uh, taking a picture of myself taking a picture of myself but what a cool like chalice candle so let's see what it says about this let me find this this is from simple ritual for, which is from mississauga ontario i have no idea i'm sorry canadians um so this is a vintage candle in sweet orange and eucalyptus that also sounds like two cents that should be together all the time Oh my gosh, that is amazing. It's a more on the sweet orange side than the like super strong eucalyptus, which can be kind of overpowering sometimes in, in my mind in a good way. But it says, by lighting your candle, you're taking a moment to ground yourself, to be present, to honor and recognize your emotions and feelings and to practice a daily simple ritual. That's my excuse for liking candles so much, you guys. Candles are all one of a kind as they are repurposed with forgotten vintage silver pieces found locally in Ontario. That is so cool, you guys. Made in small batches with biodegradable soy coconut wax, they are intended to have a tarnished rustic look but also can be polished. Enjoy the cute matches. Mine is not very tarnished. I almost wish it was more so tarnished, but that will happen very quickly because silver. But oh my gosh, that is so cool. I love that. And I feel like I could put other candles in it once that does burn down. So I love that they repurposed that. I'm so curious to know what other people's candles look like now. Oh, there is a little lid for my lotion. I found that. So that is super duper cool, you guys. I love it. Here is my pine cone. I finally found it. There it is. So let's just go over everything that we got in this amazing box from Huga in a box. We got our two do good paper items. We got those eco pens, four of them, as well as that awesome list spiral notebook, which I am super duper excited about this notepad, you guys. We got our pumpkin spice blend from Bloom. We got our toffee bark. That was the first thing we saw. Hooray. We got our really cool uh, knighthood sleep mask, which I am very intrigued to use, even with that funny little spider tassel there. We got our simple ritual vintage candle in sweet orange and eucalyptus, hooray. And then two items from Sequoia, the body scrub and a lotion, which is the uh, extra for quarterly subscribers. And then the, um, what was this? The blackberry and sage hand and body lotion, both of those from Sequoia. So there were two brands where we got two items from them. So that made a total of three, four, five, six, seven, eight items in this box, you guys, or seven if you were just doing it as a one-time box, but beautiful value, beautiful items. Love the stories about the businesses. Definitely check this box out if you are looking for that sense of coziness, warmth, and you want to support small businesses. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up, and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.